Okay, here is my first guest, our new ambassador to the UN. <laughs> Known for his warmth, Don's going to be appearing for a week at Harrow's in Reno, November the 29th, and Resorts International, December the 7th, 8th, and 9th. Would you welcome Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles. <laughs> Okay, that's about it. <laughs> oh. Hi, gobble gobble and all that. You know. I was home stuffing a pilgrim. <laughs> but uh, I look forward to Thanksgiving. Hey, really? Yeah, it's a great Jewish holiday. <laughs> and, uh, pilgrims were all Jews. They came out of Maine. A little payas and little turkeys under their arm. I didn't anyway, know that. pardon me? I didn't know that. You don't know a lot of things. That's true. Uh, how do you feel, Ed? Fine, Don, thank Good. you. Good. The other night was so great when yeah, we were out with Victoria, yeah, Barbara, and I. Yeah, God. Yeah, Barbara. His name came up what? Once? Twice. Yeah. <laughs> One time was about him quitting, and you said, who cares? <laughs> and uh, the other time was about you sitting there. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, Ed has uh, eyes on the old chair, does he? Well, you know, yeah. he says he's going to quit. That's He makes that speech all the time yeah. in his contract that, you know, yeah. when you go, he goes, you know. That's right. Don't count on it. <laughs> Off a bit a hundred times, you get hit by a bus. Uh, he won't pick it up to let you lay there. Uh, he's got too many things going anyway. Yeah, he's a big star, and I'm happy for him. Star search, uh, uh, hit the dong, win a cookie. Uh, how's your mother? Long live Ireland. A parade, and two monkeys in heat on a rock. Whatever it is. But he's got it all covered. Hi, guys in the band. Haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> Good. The shipment will be in Friday. How are you feeling? Great. You look I, good. You I look just, good. Uh, well, it's not I just, it's uh, last, uh, the end of August. We went on a trip and we did the, uh, my wife and I, for the first time. You gonna say something? No. Oh, you, you always do? <laughs> you got a rod, maybe we can reel him in. I mean, I was toy. That's a sign of age when you start to go, hey, hey, oh, I forgot I wanted to say something. But, uh, we went on a trip. <laughs> I, I don't lie. You're old. Uh, and we went on a trip, John, and we That's visited. I, I told uh, the wife and I, uh, 20 years of marriage in March, and it's our first time we went on a trip alone. We said we're definitely going to go alone. And because you we never to... traveled with Barbara any place, just by the two of you? You've met Barbara. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, would you like to be in a bedroom with her just laying there going, Okay, it's your turn. Uh, no, she's a lovely wife. She really is. I, I, I say this publicly. I married a Valium. Uh, on the wedding night, I had to do, come on, come on. Uh, gee, that wasn't worth the joke. I hurt myself. But uh, where did you go on this trip? That was good. Thank what you. you. Say, where did you go on the trip? Well, we went to uh, where you've been, to the south of France. Hey, have you ever been to the yes, south? I yes, have. you've been all over. That's a dumb question to ask you. I mean, you're like a barge. They put a flag on your can. You'll go any place. <laughs> uh, but, uh... <laughs> Come on, I laugh at this show. <laughs> but I'll tell you this. We... We went to the, to the south of France. I have to do a commercial. Oh, fine. Any, anything to keep you going. <laughs> but your payments do a lot of them. <laughs> anyway, you got that right. <laughs> we'll, be, we'll be right back He's after so this. so old. Yeah, old. <laughs> we are back. Look, we just... We just had you embarking on this trip to the south of France. Yes, first time. So we went to La Reserve, and uh, we took a ship called the Sea Goddess, which, by the way, is great sailing. It's a new kind of a... It's like, uh, well, it's like a yacht, you know, with uh, uh, 60 cabins and 100 passengers, all well-to-do people. Yeah. You, you'd be a little uncomfortable because they would recognize you, and you know how you are with your body and the whole thing with the shorts on and yeah. so forth. Uh, <laughs> no, he is. He's very, you know, he's, he's very barbell happy. He's the type of guy that goes, <laughs> you see it dancing? Anyway, uh, but th this ship we went on, 
And we got to La Reserve, and we checked in very nice. And uh, the phone rings, and it's a man that I know you look up to. Well, certainly Ed and I do. You're a little shaky about it. Uh, Frank Sinatra, who is one of the great stars of our time. Mm -hmm. And we say this because uh, he has Ed's sister and my aunt in custody. <laughs> uh, no, that's a joke. If Frank's listening, buonasera, buonasera, buonasera. Uh, but we had a marvelous time. We, right. And he was at the Hotel de Paris, which you know well. And he had a beautiful suite. He had the entire building. And... Uh, Every day we went over and spent time with him. And the one thing I remember, you know, the French, they, the paparazzi, like, if you, do they recognize you when you go over there? Some of them. Who? <laughs> Jacques Bidou. Jacques Bidou? Jacques Bidou. Look that up. I want you to check that out. Jacques Bidou, I happen to know, was in La Cage de Faux and is still not sure what he is. <laughs> now, I want Jacques Bidou, my burgers, Jacques Bidou. They don't know you over there. Why don't you be a man about it? You and Newhart, you lie. I hate that. <laughs> Nobody knows you. They only know Frank. And I'm going to see to it that you get hurt. <laughs> now, not you, Ed, because this is going to be your desk. <laughs> now... And then we, well, Sinatra was marvelous. Needless to say, we went over there and people... Uh, Do you speak French? Pardon me? Was that a, t was that a tough one? <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak French? Of course. Any, any Jew from Brooklyn speaks French. <laughs> I get up in the morning, I say to wife, je ne monte pas de She said, no donuts. <laughs> now, of course they don't speak okay. French. I got enough trouble in the neighborhood trying to let them know who I am. Right. Don't steam me. You're getting on my nerves. Right. You came from... When I met you, you were just out of Nebraska saying, get me a monkey, anybody, help me. A monkey? Well, sure. <laughs> Women were out of the question. <laughs> now, <laughs> look, what, look at your track record with girls. Forget about it. I mean, I don't want to throw that up. No, the public doesn't have to know. What? You let them know. <laughs> I mean, uh, Ed, you've been married once. I've been married just once. Yeah. No, you've been married twice. twice. Ah. Anyway, uh... <laughs> well, why get into that? Why get it? Sure. But we go back a lot of years, so I can take yeah, those questions. But uh, yeah. getting back to Frank, so I was with Sinatra five days and five nights. Frank was great. Every night, little, bo you know, little booze. We used to drink. You don't drink anymore. Not much. No. Yeah, and look what it's done to you. Uh, <laughs> you were laughs when you drank in New York when you saw me at the Copa. <laughs> Now you sit out at the beach and say, is the lawyer on the phone? <laughs> now, you see, you, you gotta be like Ed. He drinks, but nobody knows about it. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> You're gonna get a call from Victoria yes, saying, yes. why is he saying that? No, we all drink with moderation. Yes. But that's at the point. Frank still drinks pretty good, you know. Yeah. Little grappa, you know what grappa is. Sure. What is it? It's a little <laughs> Italian wine. What? Big wine. Hey, it's not an open forum. <laughs> Let the man that gets 60 million a week figure out the answer. Well, not over the years. <laughs> used to be 40 now. No, Grappa... Well, did anything exciting happen in the vacation? Yes, on the... Uh, well... Never mind the knee dropping. Let's get on with the... Well, hey, being with Sinatra to me is exciting. It's exciting for you, isn't it, sure. Being with you would be like a slow-up. Uh -huh. uh, no, being with you would be fun, sure. but in a different way, John. I right. mean, you're low-key, you don't like to, you know. That's right. Frank likes to sit around by the cabana with a lot of Italian guys and the priest, and, you know, and look around, and if somebody is swimming towards the cabana, he goes, shoot him. Uh, so we have a different relationship, you know. You like to sit there and explain to some 19-year-old that the graying is from an illness. Uh, <laughs> A, uh, a, a problem you will never have. <laughs> you gotta get... One for Nebraska. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nebraska leading the Jew, one nothing going into the last game. But it really, and you know, and then we went to Saint Tropez on the Sea Goddess Down. with Harvey Silbert. I don't know if you know Harvey. Yes, He's a I wonderful do. guy. And Jerry Vale was singing on the ship, and it almost sunk. Uh, <laughs> But uh, uh, Bob Newhart didn't want to go along, you know, it was too much money. I thought you went along with, Bar along with Barbara. Yeah, I did, but Jerry Vale was on the ship singing. Oh, I see, and then Newhart was, huh? uh, Newhart was there too? No, no, Newhart was on the dock going, I can't afford it! Uh, he's a multimillionaire, you, you know, he's starting to catch up to you. Anyway, uh, by the way, that's where I'm going to spend Thanksgiving. 
with Bob Newhart uh, and his family. Oh, a party nice. of about 40. And uh, it's going to be catered. Uh -huh. And it's going to be nice. You were on the list, but we voted and... Mm, don't. <laughs> we figured you'd, you'd prefer chicken. Uh, and there's not a bit of Jewish blood in you. I don't know why you'd want chicken, but... Anyway. But it was marvelous. You know, we went to the Hotel de Cop. Oh, where you beautiful. were. beautiful. It is a beautiful hotel. And uh, it's about seven miles to the tennis courts, you know. And it was very reserved, you know. A lot of Ed Thompsons with the, you know, big boil on the neck. <laughs> I believe, Mary, it's your serve. <laughs> you know. And there was one Jew that came down and said, I, I, did anybody see a ball? <laughs> anyway, uh, and two Italian guys in the cabanas going, And one black guy going, I'm playing tennis. Anyway, they were all there. Huh? They were all there. Goodness. All what at the a, hotel. The what a lucky break for you. <laughs> <laughs> at our place, there was none of that. That's right. But I, I must tell you, Sinatra, we, we talked about the night uh, when I was with him with these five days. We talked about the night when he hosted the show and the night when he was a guest, That's if right. you remember that. And uh, he had a lot of fun. Because yeah. uh, Frank is... Uh, as you know, and I know, he's, and certainly Ed knows too, that he's the kind of guy that, to be with him, you know, it's the last of a, of a great uh, uh, kind of world, you know, and to be with him, you, you see the other side of him, you know. Yeah. When he got my wife against the wall, and kept, <clears throat> you know, I said, go, Frank, go, go. It's, it's him. Punch the hell out of it. He was great. <laughs> we, oh, put, don't, don't ever do this. Never do this when you're talking about Sinatra. It could bend us. Okay, we'll be right back.